Bible says it's for freedom that Christ has set you free. Scripture teaches us that we are now priests. He tells us that we are a royal priesthood. Amen. It tells us to come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy in our time of need. It's for freedom. Did you catch that at the very beginning? The reason I told you that, because you can freely come today to Jesus. You can freely come to Him. There's nothing holding you back. And a lot of times we come to church and we wonder at times, well, with a, with a church where people like what I do, where people like how I worship, or how, what, they, how, what they think of me when I, when I come up for prayer, what keeps, us from, what keeps us from receiving the blessing? What keeps us from being blessed? What keeps us from hearing from God today? You know, too often we get, we get too churchy. We get too religious. And we have certain opinions about, well, it shouldn't be done that way. I've never seen it done like that in a church before. Well, who says that God has a cookie-cutter way of doing things? Have you ever wondered that? Well, we've not done them like that before. I don't know if that, you know. Well, who says that God has to work the way you say? You ever thought about that? We, we put God in the box. We limit God in our lives. Well, we can't limit the Almighty Ultimately, but we limit God in our lives. We limit God in our church and how we go about things. We get too churchy. We get too religious. Many churches start on the path and the right for the right reason, the right heart, and they get all these religious functions going on. They get these religious ideas. The next thing you know, they're bound to some form of ritualism, ceremonialism, some kind of legalism. They're bound to, and no longer do they have freedom. I pray that doesn't happen to you. I pray you don't get so bound into some form of ceremonial type church that you can't freely come to God and worship. But we got to wait for the invitation before we go to the altar. Who says? You know, as long as you're not doing anything disruptive, as long as you're not trying to take over the service and go against the move of the Spirit, it's not out of order. Did you know that? If you feel like you need to come to God and come to the altar, this altar's open. understand that. There is an order of service, but as long as you're not trying to disrupt that order, you're not out of order. And if you do things according to Scripture, the Bible says it's liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom. Freely worship God. And don't miss out on what He has for you. Amen? Well, God is good. All the time. All the time? God is good. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. You be seated. Time for your children's church workers if they're